Good day. I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. Today I'm going to have a more serious tone um, simply because I want to give you guys this information. So I am playing NBA 2K on the PC. This video is for 2K23. Okay, 2K23. So right now, as you can see in the game, um, in the game, it's past Easter. Okay. So you should have the season six patch. The issue is if you're playing on PC, uh, you're going to get a lot of random crashes for season six. You're going to get, sometimes you're going to get the game not starting up. If you have mods, if you have mods and you have the season six patch of the game. Now, as far as I know, uh, NBA 2K has now implemented some type of anti cheat system, which I do applaud. I am happy for that, but it also affects those of us who are just um, making cosmetic changes or um, just just basically trying to do offline mods. OK, so if you're trying to use cyber faces per se or you're trying to, you know, use custom jerseys. Now, the reason why my game is not crashing is because I have reverted back to an older um, version of the executable file. Now, some of you are not going to know what an executable file is, and some of you are not going to stay long enough on the video to listen to what I'm trying to say. Listen, stop looking for entertainment and quick videos to quickly explain what's going on S have a seat listen some of you guys don't even watch the videos for two minutes and ask the questions that are in the videos goodness gracious guys you need to gain an attention span some of you now some of you actually do listen and you get solutions and you become modders and you create what you want to be in the game okay so let's all get together. Let's all sit down. All right. The executable file. I'm going to show you what the executable file is. And for those of you that already know, I'm sorry, you got to sit through this, but you can fast forward the video anytime you like. All right. In your NBA 2K23 folder, you see all these files. These come with the game. OK, the executable file is this right here. The thing that says 2K23.exe. Now, the thing that may cause your game to not um to not start or crash will be the hook if you have the hook and that's because it's not because the NBA 2K hook allows you to cheat that's it's not it that's not what the hook is for now can somebody manipulate the hook to do you know to possibly cheat the game Sure, somebody can, but that's not what it was released for. It wasn't intended to be used in that manner. It was intended to be used so that you can add, you know, stuff like college and high school and your own custom rosters own, you know, you can update floors and arenas. I'm going to show you guys what I have. You know, I've got high school. I've got uh, ESL, which is. You know, a community mod by one of the members. Shout out to King J Mace by one of the members of the PC community. When I say members, it just means somebody who bought the game that's and is part of this community. There's no secret society of NBA 2K PC players. Anyway, we're four minutes in and I'm still explaining this stuff, but I want you guys to understand the difference between what the modding, the actual modding community is trying to do which is we're just trying to play the game to the funnest level that we can have. We share uh, we share our experiences with each other. We play online with each other as far as like Parsec. We're, we're not, we try not to use 2K servers because, um, you know, you have to go through the park system or the play now online games. And we simply want to play how we want to play basketball in a video game. Now, my voice sounds a little crazy because um, it's super early in the morning, but I knew I had to make this video. OK. Now, the other thing I wanted to state was I told you guys 
that the executable file for the season six patch is what's causing your mod. You're not going to be able to really play with mods as of right now. But what I've done again, I'm repeating this. I've reverted back to the last to the season five patch, basically the exe file for season five. That's what I've done. That is what is allowing me to come in my game and, you know, you know, do different things, um, you know, have a stadium in blacktop or play with high school mods, stuff like that. That is the solution for you. Now, some of you are going to say, well, how do I get that file? How do I get that? Okay, guys, don't ask me for a link. Okay. There's a few reasons why you shouldn't ask me for a link. Um, number one is because if you bought the game, there are avenues for you to revert the game back to an earlier patch. Don't ask me for a link to that. You guys have got to start understanding how to use the Internet. I see every day, every day for the last two or three years, like people really. They the younger people tend to do this. They're really not that skilled at searching the Internet, like not at all, not at all. They ask you how to find the most basic things on the Internet. If you guys are playing on PC, you got to start reading. That's that's it. If you want to play with mods on PC, you have to learn to read. And I don't mean like, oh, this is my career. I know how to read. This is my career. This is my team. Jordan Challenge. I don't mean like that. What I mean is reading with comprehension, understanding the content that you are, you are absorbing. You have to learn to read. Comprehension is part of reading. It's not just knowing the words that are spelled out. OK, um, so you guys got to learn to read instructions. You got to learn to follow instructions. You've you've got to learn how to search the Internet because there are many avenues to get the solutions that you guys are looking for. Um, I have guys on Discord. They will at me in different servers and ask simple questions when I have over one thousand four hundred and fifty videos for free. Guys, stop adding me on Discord. Don't mention me on Discord for things that you can search on the Internet, whether I made it or not, a along with my videos, um, I have hundreds, hundreds of written threads and tutorials scattered throughout the Internet. And I'm just one person creating these free resources. OK, so if you guys want your NBA 2K23 to work with mods, the simple answer is revert back to an older executable file, an older EXE file. That's an executable file. Um, some of you refer to it as an application, an app, um, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Revert back to an older one. You should be able to use it. OK, I'm not going to say with 100 percent certainty it will work for you because some of you don't know how to follow instructions. It's not a jab. It's just the truth. Some of you don't know how to follow instructions, so it's not going to work for all of you. Because you don't know how to read, you don't know how to follow instructions, and, it, and that's a skill you need to develop. And that's OK. But anyway, I'm going to try to keep this video 10 minutes. Um, if you want to get into modding, you can still use my how to mod video with the hook. But you also need to understand and fully comprehend what this video here means. It means if you're using season six, NBA 2K has implemented anti cheat. Um, and that's because people are trying probably because people are trying to cheat online and cheat through my team and call it modding. When that's really more towards hacking, it's more hacking than modding. OK, you could technically say it's modding because what is modding? You're modifying something. You're changing something. Anyway, I'll let you guys look up those definitions. It's getting to around the 10 minute mark and I want to leave it at that. Um, 
So hopefully you guys understand everything that I'm saying. You can still mod in this game. And you can still become a modder. You can still have fun. But some of the tutorials that you watch are not going to work if you are not, um, you know, actively learning how to search the Internet for the solutions that people have provided. Now, I will say this. Um, searching the open Internet is going to be different from searching closed Internet sites such as Discord and Facebook. You have to learn like Discord. You need to learn how to search individual servers. If you don't know how to do that, you got to look at other videos. OK, because I'm seeing people every day post solutions in Discord. But unfortunately, those solutions will not be searchable in in your average web. Um, what is it called? Web search engine like Google. Ugh, my voice is so. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to get off this video. And um, hopefully this video helps you all learn how to search through Facebook if that's where you get your mods. Search through Facebook and get your solutions. Learn how to search through Discord. Most importantly, learn how to search through uh, Google or, you know, I don't know. Some people use may use Bing or whatever, whatever search engine you use. Learn how to search those so you can get what you want. OK. All right. I'm out.